Hi guys, Saga here, and welcome back to another Project Jude devlog. Now it's been a while, and you might have noticed the style of the video has changed, and I will address that in a moment, but before I do, I'd like to mention that this video is sponsored by Core. Now the majority of people would know what Core is, but if you don't, Core is a free game creation platform that lets you build, publish, and play games. It's a great platform for game jams and other events, where you have to create a game in a set amount of time, because you can quickly set up a simple game in minutes such as a multiplayer game. You can get started making games right away using thousands of free high quality music sound and art assets with no coding required. But if you prefer to get more technical with game development, Core still allows you to create your own scripts and logic in Loire. You can create games from scratch or reimagine content shared by other creators. And when you're ready to publish, your game will go live instantly on the Core platform with a click of a button. So if you're interested, you can click the link in the description and download Core straight away. Also, very quickly, for anyone that is interested in game jams or game development, Core is hosting their Halloween game jam, aka the Spooky Jam, and there is a prize pool of $5,000, so if you want to get involved, I'll leave a link to the submission and the whole page of it in the description below. Okay, so I guess we should address the elephant in the room. So, it's been a while since my last Project Jude episode, and I apologise about that. However, a lot of things have gotten in my way. I recently moved so the moving process took up some time and I just started university so lectures and tutorials took up my time too. But anyways, here we are. Finally, one thing I'd like to mention is that for the time being I'm going to make these devlogs more relaxed and less edited. This is primarily because it's easy to record more relaxed videos and it saves me time during editing, which basically means I can spend more time on actually working on the game. So if you like this style of videos let me know down below in the comments section. So what have I done? Well, for starters, I decided to spend time to learn how to sculpt in Blender. Essentially, it's coming to a point where I think I'm going to have to model my own characters. Which means I need to learn how to do that. Which is why I've spent time watching tutorials and other videos which are teaching me how to sculpt. I've explored other ways of creating characters in Blender, but sculpting seems to be my best option. And after about two weeks of sculpting, I managed to create this. And yes, I know it's not the best model ever, but I'm pretty proud of it. It's the first model that I've ever created, and I like it. Obviously, it still lacks clothes, detail and colour, but other than that, the base is there. And this is basically me trying to create the main character in my game, and judge it all you want, but I'm pretty proud of it considering I've never sculpted before. So I'm going to continue working on my sculpting, which will hopefully end up with me creating my character, which hopefully will once again look better than this. But anyway, yeah, I spent the last two weeks learning how to sculpt. So the next thing on my agenda was actually creating the map. A lot of people have told me to start doing this already, however I had to put it on the side because of two things. First of all, creating the map requires me to actually have props and other buildings that I can place around, which I currently don't have and haven't made any. And also, I had to get all the mechanics and features completed before I can start building the map. This is so that I can design the map in a way that suits the mechanics of the player. But this week was the week that I started the development of the map. So, I realised that I won't be able to model every single item and prop for my game, which is why I went out looking for assets that I can go ahead and buy. I spent a pretty long time on the Unity Asset Store finding packages that I like, and in the end I diverted myself towards packs that aren't fully realistic and are more poly. This is because generally speaking I think it's easier to create less detailed items than realistic ones, which means that if I want any custom items I can go ahead and make them myself in Blender. So I found these polygon packs that I will be using. In particular, I will be using the Polygon Sci-Fi City Pack, so after purchasing it I imported it into my game and basically started playing around with the assets. I created a little map which I will walk you through right now, but actually let me just say something. Making maps is more time consuming than I thought, at least for me, because I'm constantly changing my mind on where I should place things, and where things should lie. Anyways, this is the map that I created thus far. Alright guys, so we are in the game and let me kind of walk you through of the stuff that has been created. So first of all, I laid out the roads that you can have a look over there and stuff. This took actually a really long time because these pieces of roads are separate, so I have to basically pair them up and make sure that they're even and everything. So that basically took up a lot of time. Also, these lampposts, I've gone ahead and placed them all around and added a little light underneath them. Right now, the light is a little bit too bright, so I'm going to have to play around with that. But overall, it's a pretty nifty, cool idea. So I guess let me walk you through this town. So if we walk this way, as you can see, it is pretty empty because obviously I don't have the time in the world to do a whole map straight away. But essentially this is a little parking area here where there's like apartments where people live. And this car, so you can literally jump on, you can take a look inside. They have proper, you know, 
seats and everything, which I think is really cool because the attention of detail is amazing in this pack. And yeah, we can walk through this way. And this is just some more buildings. And I've put some clutter and stuff around the ground as well because I feel like it makes the map look a little bit more whole that way. So we can just kind of walk around here. This is just the kind of fencing around here that we saw earlier. And this is this little kind of square section. And the cool thing is that you can actually run up these stairs. You can walk up like so and walk around this, which I think is pretty cool. It's a little bit glitchy, so I will be fixing that as the time comes. But essentially that is this little area. And we can go this way. This is actually the second section that I did. Some more buildings, a little graffiti area right here. And here we have a building. Now this is a building that you will actually be able to walk into. So there will be buildings inside this map that you can walk into and you do missions and stuff. This is one of the smaller buildings that actually you don't have a mission, it's just aesthetics um, stuff, I guess. So in here you can walk by, you see there's a little neon sign, and there's stuff, there's a little bit of space so you can actually walk around, and yeah, maybe I'll put some easter eggs there. This is the tunnel, so you can go ahead and walk through, and yes, I'm aware the rain is going through the tunnel, we'll have to fix that up. But essentially you can go through this tunnel that I just kind of custom made, because the tunnel doesn't actually exist in the pack, you've got to like, you know, put walls and stuff. Now this is a camera that you may notice is actually following me. Now the light below it doesn't work fully yet, but the camera itself will be following the player. So essentially, because you will later on run away from the authorities, if you do get spotted by a camera, they will be after you. So at that point you've got to run away, which is why I've sort of created the script. And I think it's pretty cool. The camera, as you can see, follows me down here and up there. I still need to fix the lighting, uh, the lighting, sorry, here. This is a little park here with a bunch of graffiti that I think I'm going to probably change out. And there's literally nothing here, this is just a park. And essentially this kind of gave me an idea that maybe while walking through this grass we can have it sway a little bit and create some kind of grass particles. So I'll probably do that before the next episode. Over here we have a little bar as you can see. And I've tried to keep attention to the details so even the sides of the buildings have stuff going on because otherwise they're just plain and it looks a bit weird. But essentially this is just a bar, you can go ahead and walk through this curtain because I could make it a solid thing but I feel like maybe walking through it is a little bit better. And you can just go behind the bar once again, this is just aesthetic stuff right now. And this is just a little outside area where you can go ahead and buy a drink, which I might actually make function, you know, I might make it so you can buy like a health potion or something. Um, this is just a little area we can sit, once again just aesthetic purposes, and this is just a trash can that I haven't finished making. And that's basically the whole city that I've done thus far. However, this is this little area that you might know from a screenshot I made, and this is one of the buildings you'll be able to go into. Now, it looks pretty small right now. What I am going to do is extend it so it's a lot bigger, and essentially you can go up to the doors, open it up, go through, and you'll have missions inside that. So that's that, but I can obviously continue walking this way. As you'll notice, it's just a bunch of lampposts and a bunch of cool kind of roads and stuff that took a really long time. In terms of the rain, I'm still playing around with the particles of the rain and stuff. This is what I've gone for so far, I guess. I still need to do the ripples and stuff properly up here, and I will be adding shaders to the ground. At the moment, I have removed it because I have seen it cause some lag issues, which is not ideal, I guess. And this is just a little, yeah, the little city I've made. Final thing, you can see the skybox doesn't really match because it's more realistic than poly, so I'll be changing that as well. I just need to find something that, you know, looks nice and good. Um, a final thing I'll mention is I really like the way the map actually looks on the map because it actually looks like a proper map now. So yeah, I'll basically be building this map as I go along. And yeah, that's basically what I've done for this map so far. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, if you have enjoyed it make sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. Also special thanks to my Patreons, TARDIS, IT guys, Smoking Vita, Yan and Nicole Dance. Finally, thank you Cool for sponsoring this video, so if you want to go ahead and enter their jam, there will be links to that in the description below, so go ahead and download Cool right away. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!